So this BMW, I can't shift from park. If I turn the key on, you'll see the light will flash really quick when I cycle the key on. And also you will see the shift interlock when I cycle the key will release real quick. So I don't know what's causing this. When I press the brake, nothing happens though. Okay guys, with the BMW, um, what I think I'm going to do is, I went under uh, Programming and Coding, uh, Selective Update, I think I'm going to just try to update this, we'll do the engine and trans, and we'll see what happens, um, let's see, so we'll do those, because when I select it here, it says our integration level was 060610, then I went to uh, 12, 11, 50 was our old one, and the new one is 16, 11, 500. There's 12, yeah, 12, 11, 500, and it goes to 16, 11, 500. Sorry about the compressor, but our part numbers seem to stay the same. So I'm just going to execute this, and we'll let this go, and we'll see what happens. Because I tried using ISTA, and ISTA can't do the vehicle order or anything, so I don't know if something's just messed up. You can't talk to this so I'm just gonna let this update and we'll see what happens okay so it looks like I successfully programmed the DME so now it's going to program the transmission the EGS so we'll let this go through and honestly if this can program it then that means that our modules can talk so either we got something corrupted on the car or something else and that's giving us that fault code so okay guys so now that we did that it looks like our code went away Still can't shift though. But if we recode, look at that. Oh no, it came back. Okay, I thought it went away. Um, hmm. I don't know what else to do here. It's just weird that we can't shift because I don't think our pressure control code would have caused us not to shift because I had a bunch of these come in before and they always had codes. And everything else is working. Our brakes working. Okay, guys. So the reason why we couldn't talk to our lighting control module. Look at that. There's some corrosion right here in the connector. Doesn't look like it went through. At all. Oh, there is a little bit in there. We get this all apart and then we'll clean this up and hopefully we can talk to it. It's worse than I thought. I couldn't see that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's not good. Um, we'll try cleaning it up anyway and we'll see what happens here. Okay, guys, so I cleaned our module up. Oh, looks like there's still some in there. Um, let me try to clean it up some more. Maybe I'll go over it with a brush because it had looked clean until it dried, but. It's obviously not clean. So let me go over this with a brush and we'll see if we can clean this up. Okay, here we go. So now we got it all cleaned up. Look at that. I just went over it with a plastic brush and some uh, contact cleaner, but I used the non quick evaporating one. So it should be good, and then I blew it off with compressed air. But what's about as clean as it's going to get? So if this do not work, we'll have to uh, get a new one. Okay, guys. So. We'll connect this back up. I didn't really see any corrosion on the pin, so I don't think we have an issue there. And when we plug it in, our headlights and that go on, so I would think that our fuses would be good because I think there's only two fuses. So it doesn't look like our switch works. Um, let's try shutting this off. That might be dead. I can check the fuses then, but um, we'll go back and continue with this stuff. Okay, guys, we're back with the BMW. I ordered in a gasket kit, and I ordered in 
they're all selling all seven solenoids. Now these are cheap ones. It's, this is for a used car lot. They just wanted to shift, I guess. So we're gonna try it. I mean, they're they're really cheap, so I have no faith in this working. But remember, we got our pressure control solenoid four. So um, I'm gonna get the pan off, and we'll inspect these. These are all the seals that go above the mechatronics unit, I guess they call it. Um, so we're gonna drop the pan, and we're gonna try this out. Okay guys, I got the uh, mechatronics out, so I'm going to unbolt these solenoids so we can get them out. So I was looking at these, so we got um, three yellows, three greens, and a black. So my new ones that came, we got three browns, three greens, and a black. So I'm guessing the yellow is going to swap with the browns. Um, so, and we also got to pull our seals out up here. So we got these four and that one looks like. So I pull those out, and then uh, hopefully we can get this back together, and then we'll test our solenoid. Depending whether I do the one or do them all, because like I said, these are cheap, cheap aftermarket, so I don't even trust it. But uh, we'll see what happens. We're doing this as an experiment. So guys, I got my meter. We're on this one. You can see. We got continuity, right? We go to this green one. I can't get on the black one. This green one? There's nothing. Can't get anything. And it just says OL the whole time. So we go to this other green one. You hear that beeping? You can see it goes down. We got continuity. We go to this yellow one. You can hear it when I wiggle it. It doesn't make the best connection, but. And then you can see, like on the meter, it goes down. So, go to this green one. This one, same thing. So, you can see the reading goes down. And we go to this yellow one. This one, same thing. This black one, I can't really test too well. Um, you can't get in there right. So, I'm not really worried about the black one. I think the black one's a totally different one. It's probably like a I'm wondering if it's like a pressure control solenoid or something because it's a it's a different color. Um, I could look it up. We could look up see what G solenoid is, but yeah, that's our problem. So I'm gonna get this unbolted, and uh, I guess we'll just throw all the solenoids and see what happens. Okay, guys. So I changed all the seals. I forgot to film this. So there's those. I didn't change the one all the way in the back though. Um, I couldn't get enough room to get this thing out the back the connector there wasn't enough room to get the whole piece out the back and I couldn't you can't get to this back bolt back here and I could have like tried to drill a hole or something but I don't want to mess with any of this heat shielding and get all like do all this work for this car um, so the only thing we didn't replace was this the old one wasn't leaking so I'm hoping it don't leak but like I said, got all the cell noise in. I'm gonna lower this down and we're gonna see if we still got our code and if we can shift out of park before I refill it with fluid. Okay guys, um, I didn't even clear codes or anything. Let's try this, see if this works. Let's see, starting ignition on. Let's try getting out of park. Look at that, it worked. Let's turn our, let's try this again. Put it in. Oops, don't want to start it. Oh, that was close. We don't have the pan on or anything. Um, turn it back, look at that. That is awesome. So now I bet you if we go into our VG, is it VTG, no it's transfer case. Um, dynamic stability, or, oh, TCU. Was it DME the one that had the code? Let's check DME. So Triple codes. It is not up all the way. Let's go down. Did, did our code clear? Uh, which one? Oh, EGS. That's what it was. EGS. Wow. Triple codes. Absent. Look at that. Our code is now absent. Okay, guys. So I filled the trans up. That's the fill plug right there. I had to take drive shaft out to get it out. So we got it all full of fluid. 
Um, I'm just gonna lower it down and we'll test drive it and we'll see if everything works. Hopefully it does. And I'll bend this heat shield back up too. There we go. And we gotta get the skid plate back on the whole plate right there. So we'll get that on and then we should be good to go. Okay guys, so I'm clearing codes real quick on this car. Let's see. I hope everything works good now. Guess I gotta get this panel back on right. Looks like the panel's not on right. So I will work on getting that back on then. There we go. Start it up. Let's see. So we can go in this gear. Let's just do a fault scan while we're moving. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Look at that. Look at that. We're moving, guys. Got another one of my hands. Lighting system. I think some of the lights are out on this. Let's see. So that's awesome. There you go. Put it in gear. Can't drive this down the road. I don't have a plate. Can't drive in the parking lot here. It seems to be shifting really smooth. Let's see. Let's turn around. Over. Oh, that's right. We can go around the building. I forgot about this. Look at that. Now we got ourselves a racetrack. I'm gonna say, guys, I'm gonna say that this thing is fixed. Uh, we're running out of spots for cars, though. We've got a line of cars over here. Let's go put this in reverse. Let's back this up. We'll put it all the way over here. There we go. Let's see, it did a scan. Take our key out. Put our key back in. Look at that. Look at that. So, I hope you guys like this one. Let's see. Let's see what codes we got. This message is from instrument cluster. Oh, that's right. The lighting control module is broke. Um, I forgot we need a lighting control module. Hmm. Huh. So we'll have to order one of them. I forgot about that. So there might be a part two to this. Hope you guys like this one. See you later.